Wagon, what's going on? This is Prime Life, and of course, the name is Leon Kai, the ugly face that you'll be seeing in front of your screen. And right to my side is the beautiful Najma McKenna, the one and only. Well, Welcome to Prime Life. <laughs> of course, man, this is Prime Life, global topics, hot trends, and everything news and fun and games. Wagon, Najma. Wagon. Man, what are we talking about today? Yo, we have a lot to talk about. You're going to be entertained, and at the same time, learn from us. True, true. Like you know, drop your ban on the t-shirt. Hey, baby, just to just to sanitize, <laughs> man. Hey. Speaking of Corona, ooh, yeah. sanitize, sanitize. Most definitely. Sanitize. It is so right now. The the chaos erupted yesterday in Kariobangi, man. What happened? Evictions and everything. Guys are being removed from Kariobangi, and they just don't want to do that anymore. So they've decided that instead of waiting for the government to do something about it, they're gonna do things by themselves but then in not such a positive way in a negative kind of way where they blocked the roads they put tires on fire and everything and it was, it was just hard work the whole time Yo, can you imagine evicting people at this time when there's corona i, I wonder where people would go at such a time though people are going through it trust me people are going through it Sisi as in Chukasawa, Sisi in Chukomanyumbani we have our food yeah. to make us to make us talk no no but the people out there who don't have the means and to get those things, necessities, you know? Yeah. The small things, the basic needs. But isn't it, isn't it the same like how people are saying quarantine is not the same for everyone? In the sense, uh, in the way that you and I are quarantined right now, we don't live in the house, which is mm -hmm. like, it's crazy though. <laughs> <laughs> At the same time, it's a blessing to some people, you know? Yeah, also the guys who like, okay, imagine a celebrity who has acres and acres of land. Is that guy really experiencing no, any quarantine? Speaking of acres of land, yeah, I had a uh, Ronaldo, Cristiano Ronaldo, bought an island. Yeah, yo, that's crazy. Let me tell you. First of all, <laughs> if I had such money, I wouldn't buy an island, dude. Magufuli has raised an alarm of fake test kits in Tanzania, and then immediately after he starts speaking about fake test kits, this is the time that the UK jumps in and they start talking about it like they're the ones who discovered it. Magufuli is a very smart president, trust me. I also I believe so in He's some... a very smart president. I wouldn't say I've kept up too much with Tanzanian politics, but the little I know, I think he's doing good for the country. Yeah. I remember him, uh, uh, the first time, uh, like the first incidents in Shulipatoku, Kenya. Yeah. And then Uhunyaka, Akawafunga, the mosque, the churches, yeah. everywhere, like Alifunga. Tanzanians, yo, they're going, they're praying. Magufuli is going to say, Apana, let people go pray if it's... The most is if it's the churches, let them go pray. But you supposing, know? supposing that the coronavirus is as active and rampant as it is, don't you think opening the mosques and the churches is actually a negative thing in some sort of way? If you ask me, I don't think so. I don't think so. China says it. I says it. China, when Akubaliato and Debskitini. But then they've controlled man. China, China built what a hospital in ten days. A what did they hospital. do? You, yo, this guy started this virus, and then yeah. now says you are called. They're like kings. When we to Liaquao, Sisi on the other hand, to Meshtuka, everyone is like in kind of scattered. We don't know like what's up, what's going to happen. Fear of the unknown, you know. But you know, with China, so cool. with China, the news that we are getting from China might actually be fake. I'm not calling it fake. I'm saying it might be fake. Because China is Trust one of those me. countries yeah. that is known for controlling the media output that they put out mm -hmm. to the world mm -hmm. and everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So in the sense of, let's say I was the president, yeah? And I don't want my country to be seen in such a way. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. So I will control the media in such a way that whatever is broadcast out globally, I actually have a say in it. So if like I have two people who are dead, I'm just gonna be like, nah, man, it's nah. a half, 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 half person. Twenty man. people are dead. <laughs> <laughs> so we're trying to make the country look good. Yeah, you're like, no, I mean, yo, I'm telling you, like, yeah. if it's the government, yeah. they have a say when it comes to the media and what it puts out to the people. Yeah. So we watch one askiza. Yeah. People are watching news every day when yeah. it can, at seven. Because they say it's a quarantine, everyone is in the house. Yeah. Do you t do, do you want to tell me they don't follow up? They're following up. So whatever they're being fed is, Actually, you know, they're the ones who have a, an upper hand with what 
everyone is listening to and everyone is watching. So, I, I mean, President uh, Kat Trump to say, Moko US, and as I say, 70 people are dead with the coronavirus. And nothing. And no one, maybe a few people are dead, a couple of people are dead. Yeah. Let's come back to the media in Kenya. Mm -hmm. Media is affected in so many ways in how people consume it, mm -hmm. in how people view it, mm -hmm. in how content creators are actually creating the content. I had um, Uhuru give out um, 100 million shillings to the artists yeah. in Kenya. Man, I don't, I don't know if that's true. You know where that true. money went to? I don't know if that's true, but then we'll discuss about that when we come back. We're going on a break. <laughs> Welcome back to Pride Life. Earlier on, we were talking about the funds who we gave out to mm -hmm. to the artists. You. The 100 million shillings they gave out to the artists. Damn. What's up with that? <laughs> 100 million shillings, yo. Did that get to everyone, really? I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay, the little that got to people, how much was it? About 2,000. Yo, you nini? You know, on Instagram, IG. Yeah. I can calligraph, I can timitida. Mm. Like in a Fenagitu, they're yeah. all complaining. Willie really Paul, they're all complaining. At two thousand shillings, two thousand and thirty bob yaktoa, imagine seven bob yaktoa. But really, how does that system work? Cause, like maybe we're understanding it wrong. All right. Cause I don't think that it's realistic enough for a government to give two thousand and thirty shillings to artists after saying that they are allocating a hundred million to it. You get it? Feels like there's a little bit of corruption and some weird play going on around there but then maybe we're the ones who are not looking at the situation as it is yeah. probably kuna style the system is supposed to be in order for you to receive a certain amount of money yeah probably isn't there yeah when you imagine ah so when when do shows when they a show yeah they get close to same they get a million shillings mm -hmm. and then uko mcs ke on to my 2030 bob Oh, it doesn't. It, you see, when you go for a show, you get like ticket sales and everything, and you're paid out of that. Mm -hmm. But what I understand from royalties, the the amount of cash that your song actually earns during airplay or something like that. There's so many artists in the film industry, in the makeup industry. Like there's so many artists. Actually, I'm also an artist. I'm a makeup artist. I do SFX. We need leaders mm -hmm. in this country. We don't need at the celebrities. I'm mm -hmm. not mm -hmm. We need leaders who people who take action. Mm -hmm. We're gonna take a short break and we're gonna be right back with the conversation. <laughs> now, look, we're talking about content yeah. uh, on the, before we went on break, right? Yeah. But let's do a proper comparison between the Kenyan industry and the actual world industry. That's the Hollywood industry. This, yeah. mm -hmm. So basically, I wouldn't say equipment is a factor that limits us yeah. because there are many houses in Kenya that have a lot of equipment. So what is our problem exactly? Why aren't we seeing as much growth as we would see? Or is it just a factor of time that they've been in the game longer than we have? Mm -mm. Or what's the problem? Do you know what? Do you know what I think? Mm -hmm. I think we as artists, we as Kenyans are not open-minded. Mm -hmm. We don't want to as Shaggy put out, out of the box. <laughs> if you want to put it that way, Miss uh -huh. But you know what? Yeah. Can I tell you something? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. 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 There are so many countries where like the internet itself mm -hmm. yeah, is so broad and like it's probably everywhere. Mm 
you get it's a public amenity yeah we have to make some of these things available to the common one yeah you know? exactly exactly kunge kwa na laptop sai ndio pata watu tu wenye wana struggle and i'm a song like i was watching on the news the other day a child is saying how she is worried about going back to school because she can't get the resources she needs to study but if the government did what the government was supposed to do and they actually do this in many areas if the government does what it's supposed to do in basic basically all areas of the country would be so far it's so true as as in agonga points as in unasema ngapo ndipo mimi ni mimi smart we need smart leaders you know true, true. we need leaders we don't need celebrities in the in the parliament or in the in the government but you know here's the funniest thing it's actual celebrities who actually bring a little bit of change if not so much i would like to uh, say that there is a presenter who's going to be joining us so you know her Gina Iko Gina Iko yeah she was supposed to be here today but she couldn't make it I though. can't wait to meet her <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's fire though man I'll be, I'll be, I'll be one, one guy two ladies life is good though <laughs> very true. Yo. and that's what we had for today's segment creative content is it a wrap It's a wrap. Man turn the kitchen. <laughs> Bye, Scott. Jeff, thank you so much for watching. The name is Leon Kai the ugly face and of course beautiful. Najwa McKenna the one and only. And then the, on the next episode we shall be joined by Jean Aiko. Of course the show is Prime Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. Like, share and subscribe. Stay tuned to Onit Media because we have a lot of content coming your way. That's right. Onit Media YouTube, Onit Media Instagram, Onit Media KE on Facebook and of course Leon Kai on Instagram and nat_mckenna on Instagram too. All right, stay home, don't forget to sanitize. Yo, don't forget to sanitize. Yeah, man. Don't, don't, forget, don't forget, don't forget. I don't saturnize this. this <laughs> and stay at home. Thank you so much for tuning in.